In today's video we're going to be talking about steroid hormones. So there are five main classes of steroid hormones including progestogens, glucocorticoids, mineral corticoids, androgens and estrogens. Cholesterol is the precursor for all of these steroid hormones. So an example of a progestogen can be progesterone. This prepares the lining of the uterus for the implantation of the ovum. We have androgens like testosterone which is responsible for the development of male secondary sex characteristics. We have estrogens like estradiol which is responsible for the development of female secondary sex characteristics. Glucocorticoids like cortisol which promote gluconeogenesis and the formation of glycogen and some other features. We have mineral corticoids like aldosterone which act on the distal tubules of the kidney to increase reabsorption of sodium and excretion of potassium. Anyway, these steroid hormones, they're all produced in different places in the body, but the precursor for all of them is cholesterol. So progestogens are produced in the corpus luteum, androgens are produced in the testes, estrogens are produced in the ovaries, and glucocorticoids and mineral corticoids they're produced in the adrenal cortex. So the way steroid hormones function is by binding and activating certain receptors. And what this does is causes several transcription factors to regulate a certain gene expression. Now the structural differences between all of these steroid hormones we've mentioned are very very similar with the exception of some very slight differences. But these key differences are the main reasons that they all have a different biological effect. So if we look at this flow diagram here, we can see cholesterol is the precursor for all steroid hormones with uh, 27 carbon atoms. Following this, we have the formation of pregnenolone, which has 21 carbon atoms. And then we have the formation of the first steroid hormone, which is progestogens. And these have 21 carbon atoms. So for the formation of cholesterol into the first steroid hormone, we have to lose six carbon atoms. And then from here, we have the formation of glucocorticoids, mineral corticoids, and androgens from progestogen. And then there's the formation of estrogen from androgens. And the androgens have 19 carbon atoms and the estrogens have 18 carbon atoms. So this diagram here will show you the main structural differences between cholesterol and pregnenolone. And you can see that we have lost the six carbon atom chain here and that is the main difference.